The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. Uh, eventually, we make some progress. All right? I thought that you guys were going to ask me a, uh, how I was going to spend my birthday. What, what happened to the happy birthday thing? I will, I will uh, address two points. Uh, I'll address. Uh, hold on, guys. Come on. I, the, uh, the, 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 there's just. Uh, I, I, you're not that pent up. I've been giving you. I've been giving you questions lately. Uh, on Brennan uh, and uh, the CIA, uh, the RDI report has been transmitted. Uh, the uh, the declassified uh, version uh, that will be released uh, at the pleasure of the, uh, the Senate committee. Um, I have full confidence in John Brennan. Uh, I think he has acknowledged and directly apologized to uh, Senator Feinstein that uh, CIA personnel did not properly handle an investigation as to how certain documents that uh, uh, were not authorized to be released to the Senate staff, uh, got somehow into the hands of the Senate staff. Uh, and uh, it's clear from the IG report that some very poor judgment was shown in terms of how that was handled. Keep in mind, though, that John Brennan was the person who called for the IG report. Uh, and uh, he's already st stood up uh, a task force to make sure that uh, uh, lessons are learned and mistakes are resolved. Um, with respect to the larger point of the RDI, uh, report itself. Um, even before I came into office, uh, I was very clear that uh, in the immediate aftermath of 9-11, uh, we did some things that were wrong. We did a whole lot of things that were right, but we tortured some folks. We did some things that were contrary to our values. I understand why it happened. Uh, I, I think uh, it's important uh, when we look back to recall how afraid people were uh, after uh, the Twin Towers uh, fell and, and the Pentagon had been hit and the plane in Pennsylvania had fallen and people did not know whether more attacks were imminent uh, and there was enormous pressure. Uh, on our law enforcement and our national security teams to try to deal with this. Uh, and, um, you know, it, it, it's important for us not to uh, feel too sanctimonious in retrospect about the tough job that those folks had. And a lot of those folks uh, uh, were s s working hard under enormous pressure and are real patriots. But having said all that, we did some things that were wrong. And that's what that report reflects. And that's the reason why after uh, I took office, one of the first things I did was to ban uh, some of the in extraordinary interrogation techniques that are the subject of that report. Um, and my hope is, is that this report uh, reminds us once again that you know, the character of our country has to be measured in part uh, not by what we do when things are easy, but what we do when things are hard. Um, and, uh, and, and, and when we engaged in some of these enhanced interrogation techniques, techniques that I believe and I think any fair-minded person would believe were torture, uh, we crossed the line. Uh, and and that needs to be uh, that mean, need, needs to be understood uh, and accepted, uh, and we have to, as a country, take responsibility for that, so that hopefully we don't do it uh, again. In the